real junior days in 2003. Snatched 185. So, 210 kilos for the Egyptian. Remember, he snatched 182 kilos, so this would put him on 392. Likes to take his time. Looks at the clock. Wonder if he'll look again. Just to the craft can't, can't resist, can't <laughs> resist. <laughs> I think his coaches could help him with that, you know. So, secures himself a total. 210 for Ibrahim uh, Morsi. Three ninety two he's on at the moment. And he'd entered uh, four hundred, so he's got a chance of getting there. Yeah, pretty pretty realistic. And if you are just joining us, David Goldstrom together with uh, David Morgan. Just to emphasize that in the B group competition earlier in the day, three eighty four the best from uh, Yusa Hussein Amar of Iraq, who uh, clean and jerk two oh six. So we're already past that as Andre Rode for Germany comes on. First opening lift. 210. So this will put him on 390. And as you and put him ahead of everybody in the in the B group. But he's still two kilos behind the Egyptian who just preceded him. like to see him get up to um, well I'd like to see him get up to 220 David again that would be uh, you know a new competitive mark for him had a go at improving his snatch PB earlier on but it didn't come off so defending champion again David coming out for a conservative opener. Well, this is very unusual. He's been up around the, the 230s. But well, he was 227 and a half when he won the world title. And we know he's clearly not the lifter he was in Vancouver. I think this whole thing about the sort of Bulgarian, ex-Bulgarian lifters being down on their on their weights is it's very strange. So 215 in fact. 215, 220, 225. I suppose you could say that if he goes that way, well, he's maybe he's yeah, maybe he's, he's he's using his attempts. First one, get a total. Second one, get some kind of placing. Third one, go for it. Well, I think the game plan just went straight out the window. Now, was that lack of focus, lack of concentration, lack of belief? Can't believe it was lack of strength. He must be. He must be injured. Then something must have must have happened. He's either injured or he's not training properly. What was his um, opening total down as, David? He was down at 2:15, uh, coming at exactly, and he came in at exactly that. What I was also thinking about at that opening weight, David, was because he will have obviously seen with his coaches that nobody's run away with it, that being conservative today might pay off because, you know, if you can win it or nick it without having to push yourself to the absolute limit, well, so much the better. It's not a day for records. Nobody's going to get to the standard. Well, I'd be very surprised to see anybody cleaning and jerking 242 kilos. Not going to happen today. There's two looks at the clock. Is he going to sneak one more in where he just... Oh, the eyes. Just the, the eyes. The eyes, yeah. The eyes have it. <laughs> 
Well, he's a strong boy. I just, I just think that you know the whole thing's a bit sort of rough. Do you know what I mean? It, I think yeah, the not the best technician in the world. No, I think the, I think the, uh, I think the coaches have actually got some really good talent to work with here, but they need to. It's not harmonised. Well, this is a uh, a big moment because if he fails this, David, the title is gone. Whatever. No, this is just this is. He's got to. He's got to be injured. Yeah. It's got to be something. Some something that we that we don't know about. Because I I I was surprised he was coming in this low. I thought he was just doing it just to. No, I think that's total I, I, on the I, I, board and I think you just saw there there was I I I don't think we're gonna see him again. And I, and I can't see any point to be honest either. I mean the the, the, the total will be a token. Um two fifteen. What's that gonna give him? Three hundred? Four hundred. Four hundred, sorry. Um good enough for a medal? Probably not. In fact, very, very unlikely in this field. There's the man of the moment. Clock off of Russia. Just beginning his warm up. Here's Andre uh, Rode already with 210 safely uh, achieved. The other of the Russians, Lapikov. Being coached and uh, by the, by the well, being helped by the physio actually, Rory there, Domiano. So it's all so tight. So 190, no, sorry, 180. Clock off. A nice easy warm up for him. Well, there's uh, quite a bit of. Uh, and the reason we've been waiting is confirmation that Saeed Asaf, Asad Saif has retired. And it means that we can now definitely say that we will have a new world champion. Bad luck. It happens. Yeah, it's a shame that it was in his home country. Because he was well, adop adopted, adopted country. country. Yeah, because yeah. he's definitely capable. Mind you, there's a another opportunity for the Qatar fans tomorrow when they've got Jabba, who arguably is one of their best chances, up against... Uh, Hossein Razazadeh. Oh, no, no. Hate it when that happens. Done all the work. Interestingly, tomorrow in the Super Heavyweights, which, by the way, started at exactly the same time, the last championship category for 2005, uh, Jabba of Qatar. Entered a total of 450. Skebartis of Latvia, 450. Wily old competitor is Skebartis. And of course, the double Olympic champion Hossein Rezazadeh from Iran. So, three men with, uh, in fact, yeah, three men who've entered a total of 450. So, uh, that should be uh, a fun finale, remembering that uh, Rezazadeh's world championship best is 472. Well, the reason that we have all these delays at the moment is that uh, 
there's a a lot of decision making going on and this one kilo roll it does have this effect you go up by one then the next man goes up by one Bratan of Moldavia 190 silver medal position at the moment so it's Lapikov to go again Basically, David, needs to finish it off. We well, did all the work and then just didn't didn't stand still with his feet in line and wait for the signal. Relaxed before it was over. Now, don't relax. <laughs> Good man. But the problem is, David, 217, he probably would have been at least 220 the next time. Now he's got a decision to make. Well, it'll be a costly, definitely be a costly fa failure. Because this is just, it's just so close. Everything is close. You can't afford to give away your, your attempts. I think he's got to go for 222. Got to go for another five kilos next time round. But he did. A good, he snatched 185. So I think he'll, I think he'll just sit and and, and Wait. watch and see what's necessary. It's now likely he's going to win. Robert De Leja. Now he's likely to enjoy this a hell of a lot more than he enjoys is the snatch phase. It's really funny about the two brothers. His brother's much more effective in the snatch. This man's much better at the clean and jerk. Yep, good lift. So, 2.18 for Delega. Unfortunately, only carrying 182 kilos forward, like Andre here, only carrying 180, 180 kilos forward, so they have a big disadvantage. However good they are in this second phase, they're just too far off the pace. <laughs> I'm very confident he's going to get this. Yeah? Very confident. say it was a press out. press out but he might get away with it because he was able to hold the hands mm. I think he I think he I think he kind of knew but he but he went for he's so strong that he's, he, he actually held that on bent arms for a while <laughs> So I think he's probably going to take that again, or he, or maybe he'll. he'll well, he's given three whites. Time. No, it's no oh. lift. No, Andre was given three whites. There's no overrule. No. Well, I heard the announcer say no lift. Well, let's wait and see. Because the graphic certainly confirmed it as a good lift. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, that's it then. <laughs> The jury have to overrule. You see, what I would have thought was they would have stopped this man lifting. Well, no, it would just be no lift. This man's on his third attempt. Yeah. Rody's on his third attempt, so this man would come out first. Now, come on. Let's check the clock out. Good. Oh, yeah, one more. <laughs> Well, I'm glad he can smile. 
But he is a strong boy. There's no question about it. <laughs> so, 219. <laughs> That's five out of six. Yeah, so four oh one. one. Yep. Four oh one. And so the only failure was that second snatch on 182. So pretty good, pretty good days lifting for him. Yeah, he he lifted it actually here earlier in the season in uh, June. Total up three nine one. So that's pretty good. Six kilos up. And uh, President of the uh, International Olympic Committee, next to uh, Dr. Thomas Ayan, Dr. Jacques Rog, here for the men's super heavyweight class. And uh, if you'd like to pass by us, we'll certainly have a chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> or two. <laughs> It's, of course, the centenary year of the International Weightlifting Federation. Now, Bratan to uh, open up on 220. Yes, we'll put him on 410 and give him the lead for now because, remember, he had that, uh, that silver medal in the snatch with 190. Clock off posted as his opening weight. 2.22. So it's very tight. That's good. So, Dr. Rogger enjoying that. There should be quite a few athletes at this weight if the start list is anything to go by. And it will, could well be that whoever wins this will have uh, the honour of being presented with their gold medal by, in fact, the president of the International Olympic Committee. That's the sort of honour that's uh, usually afforded on such occasions. Now, Martin Tesovich. Now, very important. He's not out of this, you know. If you could get this... First one in. Okay, he's five kilos behind clock off, but that is possible. Looking a bit heavy though on the shoulders. Made it to be a bit, bit windpipe. Yeah, a bit dizzy. Yeah. When I, and I've seen him do this on several occasions with the with big cleans. So I didn't really want to give that away, but no, but it's uh costly failure so brad and donleja with 104.46, uh, Andre Road, 104.04. So actually, Road should be ahead of Dolezia because he's lighter in body weight. But I think ad nauseam we've gone through these uh, points. It's just very frustrating that they get well, the order consistently so wrong. Having the wrong graphic, I can't believe that no one has told them. It's a bit like being down at the Odeon and the Gaumont, isn't it, with the food coming around at the halfway? <laughs> oh, those were the days. <laughs> Little popcorn and <laughs> in the cinema. Yes. Mind you, the atmosphere of a multiplex, uh, even that might uh, actually help 
It was a little more intimate and dramatic with the lighting and everything. Now Naniev for Azerbaijan. First attempt. Now he ended up on 187, didn't 187. he? 187. I'm sure he's gone to 221. Well, I'm I not. I think I'm you'd be lucky to get. Yeah, that. No, I mean, I can't. There's a definite press out there on that right arm. He's coming in extremely yeah. uh, heavy, and I think he's got a good lift. Well, I oh, can't come see on. that that's a good lift. Come on, that 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 has to be silly. I think it's going to be reversed. I mean, really? Yeah, bad, bad refereeing. Which is why, again. <laughs> say it every yeah. time they just got to get rid of the press well, out just have a look at this have a look at this right arm they just can't uh, it's not as obvious there no, you, you need to sit for the run no. but they, they can't referee it I think we're going to no, have to it's write it's a little feet uh, well, it's feet are in line there I think we're going to have to write and, and, and it went off the platform we're going to have to write a little uh, I mean the bar is supposed to stay on the platform well actually uh, no, it's it's can't right, can't well, it can roll he's got to stay on the platform but Certainly, that was that was uh, for my money. That was a no lift. So I think we need to write a little memo about the, uh, the press out ruling. It's, it doesn't seem to be possible to be consistent on it. That's good. So 2:21 for the Lega. Still, of course, clock off. And uh, no news at the moment about Vishnauskas. What was Vishnauskas? What did he post to... Um, well, he's got 225 down. And I, yeah. I think he'll probably come in at 225 as well because... I think he's got to. It's, it's, he's got uh, to. It's, it's a, you know, there's a medal at stake. Why not go for it? So Tesovic goes to 221. Failed at 220. But um, just puts an extra kilo on. Yes, I think that was more more for a extra so time to follow yeah. himself th than anything else. Better clean. Not quite so close to the windpipe either. And secures his total. So that's uh, 398 that he's on at the moment. But a costly first failure because now all he can do, well, he could just sit back again and just watch and wait and then decide to take one lift that would either give him a clean and jerk medal or maybe a overall bronze. But remember, of course, he has got the uh, bronze from the snatch phase, so he has got something of a consolation. Now, this is interesting for Andre Road. This is, he is being pushed and he is pushing himself here. Naniev with that 221, which neither of us believe. But in fact, it's Dmitry Klokov, the half time leader, 222. Just coming in exactly where he said he would. And if he lifts this, he really does establish himself as the man to catch. Yeah, so this would put him on Strong split, and we had to work at it. Yeah, but it was good. It wasn't in doubt. It was well executed. 
So 412? 414. 414, yeah, sorry. Forgot about the two from the uh, snatch face. The advantage, 414. It's going to be difficult to catch now. So 222 for Andre Road. Now, by my reckoning, David, this is a new PB. Yes, I think he's cleaned more, but I don't think he's actually managed the yeah. full clean and jerk. So well, he's light. He's, he's 10404. So this would put him into the lead on the clean and jerk yeah. and put him on 402. And did it would. But we think he was quite lucky, don't we, in the second phase with the arms last time. Is he going to be as fortunate this time? No. I still think the last, I thought, still think it was a no lift, but. Time will tell. So he's left on 398. 398. Well, what can I tell you? In the World Championships in Vancouver, the last World Championships, of course, he totaled 395. In the Olympic Games, he totaled 395. In the European Championships this year, he totaled 397 and a half. So, by half a kilo, he's still better than any time before. Had he got, though, the last two pressure lifts, the 183 with the snatch and the 222, that would have made a huge difference to his personal best. So, three kilo increase for uh, Bratan. Now, this is where it becomes uh, a little bit more interesting because this would take back one of the kilos that he's behind. Because he was two kilos behind at the halfway stage. He got 190 to Klockoff's 192. Klockoff's just done 222. He's now going for 223. But in any case, Klockoff is the lighter of the pair. But nonetheless, at this particular stage, it would reduce the margin between the two men to a single kilo. So, Moldavia versus Russia at the moment. Will, of course, put him into the lead in the clean and jerk. And that'll do for me. Have to agree with you. Good lift. So 4.13, and as you say, just one kilo behind the Russian. And it's all going to be, isn't it, on this, on this last clean and jerk. And you've got the experience of the Moldavian, fourth in the Olympics, third in Europe at senior levels. He's been fourth in the world, far more experienced than Klokov, who is the junior, the rising star for Russia. And so will experience count when it comes to the very last attempt. So now Naniev, 2.23. Now, I wasn't convinced by the 2.21, but he got away with it. So 2.23, this is going to put him exactly on to 4.10. Right. So not completely out of it, providing he makes this. Stop. No, no. And I think that's what we expected. No now, remember, we're on 2.23, and I must uh, also remind you that uh, Ramunas Vishnauskas of uh, Lithuania hasn't even appeared. Now, if he is going to appear, it's got to be pretty soon, David, but he, he could come in here and steal the individual gold medal. So, Blackie last card. Off. 
Now this would put him on to uh, 408. Needs to stand still. Just about. But 408 is where he was in Europe this year when he finished just outside the overall medals. So 223. Actually goes into the lead in the clean and jerk because of his lighter body weight. They've placed him second again, but he weighed in at 104.08. Bratin on 104.96. So Bratin is actually in silver medal for the clean and jerk. And Lapikov at the moment in with a chance of a medal. And again, uh, I have to say those body weights, they're just not clear and they've made another mistake. Lapikov, all he can do is just that, sit there, watch and wait. But the Russians with two talented men, now Naniev, 224. Well, look at the problems he had on 223, David. 224, so this is for 411. And this is to get ahead in the clean and jerk which he obviously would do we could have a situation here where everybody could lift out the championship could be decided and Vishnauskas then comes in to decide the clean and jerk which would be most unusual but it could happen but no uh, news from backstage as, as to whether he will or won't surely not David what do you think this will have to be real. No, it was never going to happen. No, no. The uh, the 221 was was down. I mean, he was lucky to get that, really. Yeah, I think he was. So he, you know, he's left on uh, what's that? 408. Yeah. He's heavier than the uh, than the Russian. Yeah, the Russian 104.66. So. I suppose you could say Lapikov breathes a sigh of relief. So now, coming in right where he said, I'm now going to show you boys what might have happened <laughs> had I made a snatch. <laughs> yeah. And I tell you what, if he if he walks away with this clean and jerk, is he going to be so mad at himself? What might have been, if only. 2.25, pick it up, lead in the clean and jerk. Weighed in at 102 kilos, the lightest in the class. This year's... European bronze medalist. Clean and jerk 227.5. Brings it forward. <laughs> he does look a bit like the pub landlord, doesn't he? <laughs> You're all beautiful people. <laughs> well, he's a bit more like your pub landlord than my. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, the comedian, the comedian, the pub landlord. I was going to say, it must like be your pub landlord, not my pub landlord. My, <laughs> My pub landlord's nothing like that. <laughs> Mind you, I suppose uh, if you had someone like him, he'd be in charge of making sure there wasn't too much binge drinking. And you'd be out on time, wouldn't you? Yeah, you would. <laughs> well, he knows he's got a medal. Probably it's going to be the gold, but... Well, it's not it's not over it's yet. Not over yet. No. Now Tesovic. Is this 225? Yeah. 
So this would be uh, 415. Yes, he can't. He can't win. Well, it puts him. Remember, it puts him a kilo ahead of Clockoff, doesn't it? Because Clockoff's on 414 with a lift to come. With no, two it's lifts not 415. Is it not 415? No, he snatched 87. So. Oh right. It's 412. Puts him into second. Providing he makes it, of course. Oh, well, that's the best of the day. Yes, and he's he's really lifted well today it's the best we've seen him for a long time so 412 got my columns mixed up here so what do we got we got Bratan who's on 413 we've got clock off who's on 414 Tesovic who's now gone into overall bronze with that 412 Lapikov has lifted out Vishnauskas can't affect the overall but of course that 225 of Tesovic has only puts him into second place in the cleaning jerk because Vishnauskas is lighter Vishnauskas is lighter than everybody So the rest could all fail. He, he could end up with a gold medal without doing anything else. Now, 227. Five kilo increase. So surely, David, this is, this is the move to try and put the whole thing to bed. To take him up to 419. in line gave that absolutely everything and that uh, 227 a new personal best and it just shows you David that uh, this man has obviously had problems because we haven't seen him really didn't haven't seen him since really 2004 in the European Championships in Kiev that was the last time when he totaled up 410 so the promise was there but this is the deliverance so 419 kilos and here's uh, Robert Deleuze trying to get involved here in the clean and jerk now, Delasia 104.46, clock off 104.67, so this is to go into the lead in the clean and jerk. No, it's not. We've seen him do that before. We've seen him just pull on the weight, so didn't believe, and his competition is over. So he ends up on 4.03. So at this particular moment, the man who leads, Dmitry Klokov on 4.19. We've got uh, Alexander Bratin still with an effort to come on 4.13, but he is heavier. So that would mean that he had to take seven kilos more, which means he's got to go for 2.30, Bratin. Now, I can't find Bratin ever lifting 2.30. 2.25, yes. Klokov's got one more. Vishnauskas, because um, Klokov has gone to 227 and got it, he must come out again to try and get the gold medal. Here he is. <laughs> I 
I can see what the guy. I mean, he's, he's an absolute handful, isn't he? I mean, you guys, if he's if he's in a particular mood, you just you just wouldn't be able to deal with him. <laughs> have to work here nice to see him get a consolation prize though oh no he's got another attempt or is he going to call it a day well, he's limping so I think if I was him I'd be inclined to uh, Call it a day. Well, he's on 225, which still 225. He still leaves him in silver medal position at this moment. But Bratam. That's the man. Now, 2.30, David, that's what I reckon. He's got to take 2.30 to get up there and get past clock off in the overall. Yes, 2.30 would give him the overall and the total, and it would leave clock off having to e well, equal him. But he only got it... But because if he fails with 2.30, then... Uh, so, so if he does 2.30, then he goes a kilo ahead. On the total. So he'd have to do, he'd have to then, clock off would have to lift up one more kilo, wouldn't he? He'd have to do 231? No, no, no 230. Oh yeah, he'd have to, yeah, he'd have to do the same lift, absolutely, yeah. Because he snatched two kilos more, remember? I mean, you, I mean, you would be able to do a bit less, but you can't come down. So. No, so he's got to do, the, he'd have to do the same weight. Well, interesting tactics. 2.29. Now, let me... Was he, well, he, is he lighter? Well, I, no. Not according to me. One oh, I don't... 4.06. Oh, 06. I had him as 9.6. Ah. Oh, so he is lighter. So he is lighter. So, it's so, just it, all, paper. so it all makes sense now. I've had him all the way through. Yeah, well, it, I wouldn't do... I mean, it, it must be. He it's must... The printing is so printing poor. Is, yeah. So this to go into the lead by virtue of lighter body weight. But of course, uh, if he fouls it, then uh, gold goes to the Russian. If he succeeds, then the Russian's got to come out one more time. So this for, oh well, well, this for nothing. <laughs> no 419 today, which means that Dmitry Klokov is the champion. He's got one more lift if he wants it, but quite frankly, he doesn't need it. And look how expensive that failure has been, David, because it means that, you know, Martin Tesovic is the man who ends up with the overall bronze medal. And uh, uh, no, what he, no, he, he, no, he doesn't. Yeah, because he was three, he was three behind to it. No, no. Well, he ends up with the bronze because this man has got the silver, hasn't he? Bratan's got the overall silver. Oh yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. And clock off. No, he's not going to take a lift. Doesn't no, need he it. He doesn't need it, does he? No. Why bother? He's on 419. Chance, chances are, David, that he, you know, he was all out to get that 227. I think even another kilo, you know, just the effort of the whole competition, uh, odds against him actually lifting up another one. He's got weight. all three gold medals, so yeah, it doesn't really, you know, it doesn't really matter. So, very interesting competitor from fourth in Europe back in April 2004 to first in the world. And ironically, the man who was just ahead of him in uh, 2004, Alexander Bratan. Oh, hang on a minute. They thought it, we thought it oh. was all over. This man has decided... He's going to take one gonna more. He's going to try and take one more to get a, a clean and jerk gold. <laughs> Don't see it happening, but... Um, so he's got to do, do a 228. He's got to do a two... 29 because the bar's on 229. Oh yes, of course he has, yeah. So, a little consolation prize. 
Well, judging by his celebration when he picked up 225, goodness knows what he's going to do if he gets 229. I think he's probably going to run up to the IOC president and kiss him. No, not to be. Maybe if he could get it onto his shoulders, but it's not on his shoulders, so now we really can say it's all over. And Dmitry Klokov absolutely is the owner of all the gold medals. So there it is. So that is the silver medal. Just working this out. Yeah, it is the silver medal in the clean and jerk he's got. So something of a consolation prize. And as I said, tomorrow it is the turn of the super heavyweights and Hossein Razazadeh from Iran. And we can only hope, David, that he's really in good form and really up for producing something special in this centenary year. But clock off confirmed as the gold medal winner in the clean and jerk. Wisnowskis there, no snatches. So a clean and jerk, a silver medal as his consolation. Tesovic gets the bronze in the clean and jerk. He got the bronze in the snatch phase as well, and he is the overall bronze medalist. So not a bad day for Martin Tesovic of Slovakia. And uh, Bratan, well, you would have thought that he was going to end up on the overall podium. And uh, so he did. Well, you'll see it in a moment in uh, second place but it's russia moldavia slovakia the gold silver and bronze countries so we're going to take a little break when we come back we'll wrap this all up and have a quick word about uh, the super heavyweights tomorrow same time.